Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to check out the video today. Uh, before we get rolling here, I'm just going to throw out, I've got some giveaways coming up here. I don't have an exact date on them yet though. So make sure you go down and click that subscribe button. Make sure the bell is checked so you don't miss out on your chance to win some free stuff. So today, we're going to be talking about tungsten versus lead. Now, you know, lead's been around forever. Tungsten came out a few years ago. It's still somewhat relatively new. But, you know, you go out to buy some yourself, and you look at the price, and your jaw just about hits the floor. Like, is, you start to wonder, is it really worth it to buy into it? You know, is, is it going to improve my fishing that much? Um, you know, I've used it for quite a while now, but I'm going to give you some of the basic differences between that and lead, and let you form your own opinion on it. So, when you start thinking about the two, you know, they're both metals, they both have properties, they're both very dense. Uh, lead is a softer metal uh, and tungsten is a harder metal but it's about twice as dense as what lead is so when you look at it, size becomes a comparison okay here's a half ounce lead weight and here's a half ounce tungsten weight you can see the tungsten is almost about half the size of the lead so as you start getting into the bigger and bigger sizes you know if you start flipping and punching and stuff like that um, you know, you start using a little bit heavier weight. So something like this, this is a one ounce tungsten weight. If you envision that in lead, that would be absolutely huge. So you figure that out in front of your bait, you know, to me, it's not going to create as natural of a profile by having a giant hunk of lead in front of your bait as what it would tungsten. Now tungsten is still going to be big, but obviously it's a lot smaller. So for, for that instance, you know, tungsten wins hands down, it's a lot smaller weight. Um, and, and it just, like I said, I think it makes a more natural type presentation. Second of all, when you think about the, the two, um, lead is a very soft metal, and like I said, tungsten is very hard. So as far as um, even just sound, you know, if you're dragging this along the bottom, when it hits, it's, it's going to absorb a lot of the contact and not make as much noise. Where a tungsten weight will create more noise and it'll be different. And you hit two tungsten ones together, you get that real sharp kind of clicking sound versus lead, it's a lot softer, a little more subtle. Whether you think that plays a difference, maybe it does in your fishing, maybe it doesn't. Um, another thing when it comes to the hard and soft is, you know, a lot of times if you use a lead weight and you catch a couple fish with it, you'll notice the streaks down the side of it. What those are is when a bass closes its mouth around the weight and you set the hook, that's from where the teeth actually gripped into the into the weight itself and started to peel little streaks of it. So you lose a little bit of hook setting power that way. Whether that makes a big difference, you don't know. But you think back to some of those fish you lost, you think, well, maybe if I got just a little bit better hook set on them, would I have caught that fish? The other thing with lead being soft is it deforms very easy. Now this this weight has not been used a whole lot. But if you look at the back, it's no longer a circle anymore, which the backside isn't as big of a deal. But to me, you look at the front, and I don't know if you can see it on there, but the line hole is almost completely closed. Um, now I can stick something in there and bore it back out, but you know, as that starts closing down, it can pinch around your line. Um, and it's probably not going to do a whole lot to it, but you know, as far as reusing the weight again, you might not be able to, but it's cheap, so you can kind of get rid of it. It doesn't really matter as much. Now, to me, some of the biggest things come into is when you start using tungsten in baits. Um, I've got two jigs here. This is a quarter ounce jig in lead, and this is a three-eighths ounce in tungsten. Now, yeah, it has a trailer on it, but if you look at the jig itself, it's close to the same size. Now what that's going to do is, like, especially with jigs, you're talking about a bottom contact bait. So let's say you're catching them on a quarter ounce lead jig, and all of a sudden the wind picks up and they don't want the bigger profile, they're still focusing on that smaller profile, but to keep a, a quarter ounce jig on the bottom when it's really windy is really hard and it's really hard to feel things. Where you can move up to the heavier size tungsten jig and still maintain the same profile. Now the other thing as far as anything bottom contact, because um, tungsten is harder, it transfers more of the energy through it. So when you're dragging this bait on the bottom, when it hits something, 
it's going to transfer that vibration into your line and that's what you feel in your rod where a lead bait will absorb some of that kind of like the same thing with the sound it absorbs it, it just kind of has that thud and it, it doesn't transfer that into your line as well so you're going to gain sensitivity when you move to tungsten as well um, and you can use different size weights uh, or a lighter or a heavier weight while maintaining the same profile same thing with spinner baits um, I've used some of those tungsten ones and you know like I, I like, really like a 3 8 ounce bait just because you maintain castability you can cover a lot of water with it um, but a quarter ounce you usually catch more fish so by using a tungsten one you can use the, a 3 8 ounce still cover the same amount of water but you, you drop it down and it's still that quarter ounce profile so to me using the, the tungsten over the, the lead it makes sense in a lot of cases of course there's always the the argument too that lead is not you know it's a toxic substance so it'd be throwing that into our water and a lot of times you break stuff off and leave that toxic thing in there to me it just makes sense not to do that another advantage of tungsten is because it's smaller and harder you can do some new more interesting things with it right here I've got an eco pro tungsten wacky weight okay and what this will do you run it through your bait and then run your hook through it it'll hold the, the bait in place a little bit better it won't rip through as easy because you're actually pulling on the metal here but if you imagine this I, this is a, a 16th ounce weight if you tried to make this with a lead weight on the bottom that would be almost twice the size you know then you're talking all of a sudden you lose a natural approach to your your wacky worm because you have this giant ball of lead hanging on the bottom of it so you know you can do some kind of cooler things with it um, and, and I really think it's, it's better in general now whether you think it's that much better well that's for you to decide but I say when you even though you see those prices go ahead and try it just just go out and give it a shot and see what you think make sure you go along and look at the, the links in my description we got some for the tungsten that I like you can check that out uh, I also have links to my social media if you want to follow me on there that would be great Thanks for stopping in today, guys. Until next time, God bless and good luck on the water.